20 plus years ago, I took a group of high school children and the principal students at risk down that mountain. I remember taking them to this very lookout the night before and showing them Mount Banks, which is 400 metres, about the size of the KLCC Twin Towers. And as the kids about this time at night before the program the next day looked at that Mount Banks, they said, no way, it's absolutely impossible to go down. We let them dwell on that for a while and, and like all problems, they seem impossible unless you break it down. And while we finally showed the kids that it was not impossible, they thought it was impossible because who could get a 400 metre rope, who could carry a 400 metre rope, how could you even pick a 400 metre rope up? We let them dwell on that impossibility for some time and then explained to them that they've done for the last year in practice many, many 50 metre pitches. And even though this 400 metres looked too big, we tried to explain to them that what we're going to do tomorrow is actually do eight separate 50 metre pitches. When it comes to solving problems, sometimes we look at problems and think that they're impossible to solve. And therefore we need a methodology to break those problems down into seven or eight separate stages, one at a time, not racing ahead and doing something different, not trying to do all of them. And so to solve a wicked problem with design thinking, it really is about tackling each one, one at a time. When we get to the bottom of the first 50 meters, we pull the rope down, we reset, we do it again. We did that eight times, it took us eight hours, but we got 18 children, high school children and a principal down to the bottom of the cliff on what seemed like an impossible problem. We broke it down and got down there.